Basel II and various supervisory bodies at the national level have prescribed various robustness standards for operational risk management for banks and similar financial institutions. To complement these standards, Basel II has provided guidance on three broad methods of calculating capital for operational risk. Basic Indicator Approach, based on the financial institution's annual revenue. Standardized Approach, based on the annual income of each of the general lines of business of the financial institution. Advanced Measurement Approaches, AMA, based on the bank's internally developed risk measurement framework, that adheres to prescribed standards, methods include IMA, LDA, scenario-based, scorecard, etc. Under AMA, banks can develop their own empirical model to quantify the capital required for operational risk. Banks can use this approach only subject to the approval of their local regulators. Once a bank has been approved to adopt AMA, it cannot go back to a simpler approach without supervisor approval. One of the most common EMA approaches is the loss distribution approach, which is the method that will be developed in this course. Our idea is to show that the implementation of this methodology is quite simple and intuitive, once its components are known, and it is possible to visualize the logical chain of information from which it is derived. With LDA, a financial institution first segments operating losses into homogeneous segments, called units of measure. For each unit of measure, the bank then constructs a loss distribution that represents its expectation of total losses that can materialize over a one-year horizon. Since data sufficiency is a major challenge for the industry, the annual loss distribution cannot be directly constructed using annual loss figures. Instead, a bank will develop a frequency distribution that describes the number of loss events in a given year and a severity distribution that describes the amount of loss from a single loss event. The frequency and severity distributions are assumed to be independent. The convolution of these two distributions gives rise to the annual loss distribution. We will explain, in due course, what the concept of convolution consists of and why it is important to apply it when quantifying operating losses using this methodology.